Hello everyone, welcome to Mooch. Mooch is a top-down arcade game that just came out. And it looks very interesting, it has a very nice art style. As you can already see it, you play this little little dark guy with his shiny eyes and everything and seem to have a uh, an interesting story about a puppet master creating servants in the underground and stuff like that. But I don't want to get ahead of myself, so yeah, let's just start a new game. I briefly played the game just to test it, I haven't really played it extensively yet. Yes, I want to start a new game and I think we're going to play on probably on normal difficulty provided I could actually select the difficulty which I can't for some reason. Let's just go back. So here we go. I didn't know how I was created nor by whom. Some called him master. Others said we were created in some sort of machine. We knew one thing, that we must work in the mine. This place deep underground was our whole world. I didn't have anything except my friendship with Tula. She was someone special. <laughs> One day we noticed crack in the wall. We looked through and saw amazing collars, some strange green and brown fillers, and felt fresh air. We saw the outside world. We decided to escape to this amazing land. But during the escape, Tula was captured and torn apart. I saw pieces of her soul, shining in the dark, and scattered through all over the world. They captured me and put into the prison. I needed to get out, and find a way to bring back to her to life. Well, that was dark, so I'm playing this little guy here and my best friend got torn apart and has soul shattered, wow. Okay, so can I get out of this prison? Whoa, 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 okay, so I guess our prison door was just blown open by a malfunctioning robot. That's good, so and we can collect... We can collect souls, that's well, like soul gems or whatever that is. That's interesting, probably soul parts our best friend. I like this game's artwork though. I mean the, the info looked really nice, very very nice hand drawn whoops. Okay, teleporter. Very nice hand drawn stuff. And I guess I'm not supposed to step on these killer buzzers with blood all over them. So yeah. Okay, so far this isn't too difficult. I like this this vision mechanic that I can only actually see see the path where when my eyes actually like illuminated. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not touch that and let's instead collect these souls and continue. Well that that thing caught me by surprise. So can I free my fellows here? Doesn't look like it. Oop, more murder bus or sauce. Woo. I almost walked directly into it while trying to avoid it. So, I don't have any health bar, so, so I guess touching the killer bus was instant death. So, this is a dead end. Kind of looks like it. So maybe I missed stuff. Oh yeah, I, I did indeed, so. Oh. Let's do this a careful way. Okay, so as soon as I collect the last Last soul fragment seems like I'm teleported to the next area. Spikes on the walls. And this is some sort of barrier? I guess so. 
choose your way, okay, uh, left or right. Um, killer bus horse, or maybe less killer bus. Oh yeah, less killer bus horse. Yeah. Not really, no. Okay. Uh, I can do this. No, no. Ah, I'm caught. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. That wasn't. That was bad, but not too bad. So here we go again. Oh, I'm, I'm already, already cornered. There's spikes on the walls, so let's avoid those two. So I wonder. Yeah, I like this vision mechanic. Of course, it it makes the game harder, but it's pretty interesting, because it actually matters where your character. Oh yeah. And I moonwalked right to those spikes, so yeah, well, well, well played, well played game. So, right, let's do this again the careful way. Didn't I collect these? I guess I didn't. So, yeah, oh, come on, I, I barely touched it. So, at least I, I seem to have unlimited lives, I think. But, come on, I, I did not touch this, so. What's up? I, I mastered the first couple of rooms and now I walk into wall spikes all the time. Okay, let's be careful. Yeah, this game is going to get difficult. I mean, it's not too bad now, but I, I can already see it. Alright, let's go over here again. We really have to watch out for those bus saws. So, here we go. Yeah, I almost got that the first time, but not quite. So, here we are. Alright, another prison cell. Okay, no home, no murder bus source. So, so far this doesn't seem to be too bad, really. Okay. Learn path, okay. So this one is going... Okay, they don't seem to be going after me, they really seem to be... Oh, yeah. Alright, let's try that again. So those guards, they don't really seem to be going after me, they seem to be... like just running around in general, uh, in, a, in a fixed pattern. So, which is kind of the opposite of running around in general, so, but never mind. So, and everything here kills you in one hit. So, okay, let's do it this way. And let's go over here. And then let's go to avoid this. Whoa, 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 that was way too close. Way too close. Let's try this again, and then let's get out of here. I know there's one there's one guy here, so let's see where that guy goes. Okay, does he just go back and yeah, it just goes back and forth, so I have to wait until he's in this corner here. And then whoop, yeah. That wasn't too bad. So okay, bus horse can't cross here obviously. So Okay, yeah, that was kind of my fault. But I do seem to have unlimited lives or unlimited continues, so so there's that. Okay. Hey Basso, how's it going? And this prison has insane security. And are those robots leaving trails of blood behind? Because if they do, that would be kind of scary. Okay, for the robots. For the robots. So that uh, wasn't too bad. Oh, why well, man? They're they're not entirely unpredictable. You can kind of see in which direction they are going because that's what they do. Really have to go through here. Oh, I don't want to. Can kind of see in which direction they will be going because they're turning their heads or or lights or whatever you want to call those. Can I can I get through there? Uh, looks like it. 
Okay, so do I have to go through here? Or was it just an alternative pathway? Maybe it was, so... Uh, not really sure that's actually easier. Let's just try to get through here. Okay, so... Hey buddy. Well, there, there are no... No wall spikes for once, but there don't seem to be any soul fragments here, so I guess this is not the right direction. Instead, I have to go through here. Yeah, that looks good. So let's be careful here. It's not method up on. Well, that's a lot of fragments, so. And yep, yeah, here we go. Okay, checkerboard. Not really sure whether I like that. So 30 fragments, that's a lot, so... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. So... Yeah, this game was developed by an Eastern European developer, at least it's available in English, Polish and Russian, which implies that it's developed by an Eastern European developer. And um, the grammar and wording in cutscene was a tiny bit off, but nevertheless I liked it a lot. The story is very basic and we don't get a whole lot of details like what kind of creature we are and what kind of <laughs> yeah what kind of master we have. But it's nevertheless uh, it's quite charming. I like the art style here. I like the general idea and for for a more simpler game like this, it is simple in the sense that it's not like driven by its narrative or anything. Uh, this two ones works perfectly fine, so... Let's try to get the outer fragments here first. So, whoa, that was close than intended, so maybe I should walk sideways. Yeah, I should not walk sideways, or if I do walk sideways, I should probably do it properly. So... So, yeah, let's be careful here. Man. This game is darker than I originally thought. I don't mean dark in the sense of it's not bright. I mean, these these guys seem to be leaving trails of blood behind, or at least I think they do. And, I mean, my, my best friend was torn to bits and her soul shattered. That was pretty dark. Okay, let's not get greedy. And let's be careful. So, so here we go. So far, the controls are responsive. My character isn't super fast, but that's probably working as intended. And it might actually work in my favor because, well, I do have... I mean, it's if you're, if you're moving too fast, it can be more difficult to avoid all those spikes and stuff, so... Okay, just those four left, but I'm kind of scared now. Because I don't want to get too greedy, so close to the goal. There we go. Spider bot. Okay, is that a boss? Whoa, whoa. It's a laser shooting spider. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Okay, I totally didn't see that because I was focusing on the massive laser shooting spider. This is crazy. Okay, so... I really have to be careful. I mean, the spider is comparably slow, so... Is that a laser gun or so? No, it's not. It's just a thing on the floor. What, one moment I thought this game would give me weapons, which probably not really... doesn't really like fit its philosophy, so... Whoa, whoa I almost walked into that. Yeah, this eye mechanic really makes it difficult to see, but it's probably a little more realistic because, let's face it, in real life, you can't really see what's behind you without a rear mirror, so... Okay, are, are you going to go away at one point? I guess so, so... Let's do it this way. Uh, yep, yeah, this should... No, this is not at all. I'm really missing one. One fragment. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's not mess this up. There we go. 
Okay, it looks like we beat the first boss, at least in the sense of that the boss didn't kill us. All right, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So far, I like this game quite a bit. I'm definitely going to play it again. So yeah, and if you like it too, or if you don't like it, feel free to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this game. Yeah, and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.